Hi, I'm Adam Caldrick, and I'm going to show you how to disassemble a Clint Arcade stick. Nah, we're going to talk about Dreamcast. Nah, terrible jokes. I've done this joke so many times now because I've done so many takes of this video. But no, we're here to talk about the Hori Real Arcade Pro Soul Calibur Edition for the Xbox One, PS3, no, sorry, Xbox 360, and PC. So. This is the good, the bad, and the moddable. The good part is, as a, as a 360 stick for your PC or the Xbox 360 or in use with converters, it's great. Highly recommend. It's fantastic. I enjoy it. I've used it with the Magic NS uh, Mayflash converter adapter. <clears throat> so I've used this on my Nintendo Switch. Uh, X, uh, Nintendo Switch, PC Engine, Sega Genesis, Neo Geo, PS1, PS2, and the Dreamcast. And I've had no issues whatsoever. I've also used this on a PS3. That was fun. No lag, no issues. It's really like a testament to the Magic Mayflash adapter, but, you know, this stick works great. You know, the buttons are Hori Hayabusa. They're matte finish. They feel good. They're they're a short throw. I would rate them equal, like they're perfectly equal. Samoa, no problem. The Hori Harbusa stick, honestly, it feels like a Samoa. It feels really good, no problems. Like straight out of the box, I can highly recommend. Also, I scored this brand new on eBay for ninety dollars in box. Like I'm not even kidding. Like, boosh, like box camera not far enough away to show but the point is good deal very happy with it great color scheme you also have a headphone jack down here which is good and you have a little over a nine foot cable like nine feet and a half inches you know it's like with a quick little breakaway because it's xbox so that's good um you have a solid solid metal base the foam pad does not come with it. That is a mod that I added because it was metal and it was cold and this will help keep it from sliding off your lap. I got five sheets of this self-adhesive foam padding that's three millimeter thick. Basically a quarter and a penny sitting on top of each other, or a dime. And has a little give, self-adhesive, works great. Uh, soft, but yeah, that... That's the thing I'll put a link down below for, I recommend. So, stick is good. I also sanded the, the, uh, the ball top down because it had that super shiny and rough little seam on it. Now it's matte and it matches the buttons and it's good. You also, per uh, Hori sticks, you have a little protective cap and for your start button, which is good. So, quick layout up here. You have the home button with your lights. You have your select button, your L3, R3, but it's you know, noted as left stick button, right stick button. This is a assign switch that apparently you can remap your buttons on the fly. It's complicated. It doesn't work very well. As far as I can tell, I did not want to mess with it because when you unplug it, they stay. So unless you know how to reset it correctly, if you mess up your button layout you're kind of screwed and you can do separate layouts for both xbox 360 and xbox one so not here for that so i have it taped off so my net this is a gift for my nephew so he doesn't mess with it. it's like don't touch this um you have xbox one mode and 360 mode and you have d-pad and left uh left stick no right stick which is kind of an issue we'll get more into that in the bad section because good the bad and the moddable. So, right off the bat, it's a solid stick. Also, you have the drawer on top. This feels really good, by the way. This is where you can tell the uh, PS4 version has the touchpad. You know, you have great space in here, though. The fact that the cable goes up this way means that if you drop it, it's ripping this door off. That's kind of a bad design. It should have been just straight through here, so it's just it's not going to rip the door off so easy. So that's a flaw. Um, so, 
or the stick is good. This is a fantastic base. I got this for $90 brand new in box on eBay. And the PS4 versions are a little more expensive, but to be fair, PS4 has sold twice as many unit uh, consoles than the Xbox, and it's known for fighting. No, no hating on Xbox, just, you know, actual statistics. Um, so, the good and the bad. The build is great. This is a great standard just case. 360 mode. Uh, works great on PC, works great with adapters and everything of that nature, no problem. The headphone jack does not work in 360 mode at all, which is fine. You can switch between left stick and right stick, no problems. You know, you have your player LD, L3, R3. Everything's fine, no problems. It works good. PC just picks it up. You're ready to rock and roll. <sighs> My problems are the Xbox One mode. Right off the bat, before we get into the finer details, my P none of my PC games would recognize this. None of them. My emulators would not recognize it for button inputs at all. Nothing. I can hit the home button and have the little Xbox gaming things of, oh hey, you have the menus pop up and whatever. That's fine. But that's annoying. Another thing to note is an Xbox One mode both on PC and console, this is D-pad only. Doesn't matter where you flip the switch, D-pad. You can't have less switch. You can't use the left thumbstick as the input. So, kind of handicap. Really, really nerfs what all you're able to play if the game doesn't allow you to use the D-pad. That's a big problem in our oversight. Excuse me. The one thing I will note is on both Xbox One and PC, the headphone jack works in Xbox One mode. No problem. I've done it. I've listened to things on here. And the microphone works. Headphone, microphone, all that. Your L3 and R3 here do not function as L3 or R3 when you're plugged into PC or the Xbox One. You hold one of them and push up to increase your volume for your headphone port. Well, this controls your audio. You know, push up to increase volume, push down to decrease it. If you push left, let me check the map. Oh, I, this is a thing I'll have to explain in a moment. If you push left, the game volume will increase and the chat volume will decrease. And if you push right, the chat volume will increase while the game volume will decrease. So that's pretty cool. If you hit all three, you'll mute your mic. So. That's good to know. By the way, this is the manual that came with it. It just lists what the buttons are, and that's pretty much it. I had to scan the QR code on this and go online, and it took me 10 minutes to get the QR code to access the page to print this off. This is for signing. Don't recommend messing with it. Everything else is just straightforward, like explaining the chat volume, what can and can't be used on PC, 360, and Xbox One, stuff like that. So, yeah. Don't use, like, you're not getting headphone audio on PC, so, and using this at the same time, just so you have a heads up. Also, the other thing to note that really just kind of it's not necessary, but it does just kind of throw you throw you through a loop is there's no turbo button. You don't need it often, but those random moments where it's like, I just need to span this out, you'll really miss it. And it's really kind of a problem. So 360 mode works great. Xbox One mode, it works out like well, you know, depending on your needs. So that's for the layout. As for modding it, you know, eh, basically, great for PC 360, Xbox One mode. Yeah, kind of re-illustrating. Apologize, I'm tired. Bear with me. Now for the mod stuff, you can do a couple of cool things. Like obviously, you can switch out the buttons. This is 24 millimeter. 
standard. These are 30 millimeters. You can put whatever. Uh, I'm pretty positive we're going to leave the buttons stock. I might pick. It's like yeah. These are pretty much going to remain stock, and so is the stick. We'll probably switch out the bat, the ball top with the bat top for my nephew because he does like ball top or bat tops better. But we'll see what happens. Not changing anything here. The artwork we might change. Uh, just for notes, you have six screws. You have to take them out, take the whole panel out, and this is glued down. So you're going to have to take a hair dryer or a heat gun and heat it up at one of the edges and slowly peel it off. You might be able to salvage it. I don't know. I do think it kind of sucks to remove this artwork, but it's his stick, and we're going to do put on put we're going to put on it whatever he likes. So that's the thing. Uh, now to flip it over. I've already removed all the buttons. I'm pretty sure I covered the foam thing. If I didn't, comment down below because I, as I said, I will be putting a link here. Ah, there we go pop that off because I took the screws off. As you can see, there's just so much space in here. You can do all kinds of things. Primarily to note, you have this great little cutout. Like, it's like it's made for a hitbox. Just swap out the front panel and put a hitbox in. And you're set to rock and roll. And I think that's really cool. Um, you also have a lot of space in here. So if you wanted to put a link a Peak Mods link on here so you have a detachable joystick. You could and just pop it in here for safe travel and I think that's really great. I like it. <laughs> wires for all the buttons. Real thing you'll notice is all the wires are hard soldered to the PCB here. You also have the, uh, the joystick hard soldered to the PCB here which is kind of annoying. But the uh, what do you call it? Oh man, I had a fart moment. The USB cable is detachable. Actually, if you wanted to, you could splice a braided USB cable, which would probably be so much nicer and, and just have more space in here and stuff. Which, might do a video on that, don't know. Comment if you want that. But, really cool is everything's marked on the PCB. The control panel is marked very clearly, sorry, upside down, is marked very clearly on here. I don't know if you can see that, sorry. But you could very easily put a replacement board in here and tap into all the control panel buttons and not have an issue and probably just pad hack your way to having full functionality with like a Brooks PCB and all that good stuff, which is pretty cool, you know. Again, you have so much space in here. Oh, actually, you have a auxiliary connector here for your stick. But more importantly, voltage and ground. And most PCBs run on 5 volts, 1 amp. So you could put LEDs in this. Just buy one of those cheap $10 strips. Uh, take the power converter cable, cut it or two USB solder to these two uh, pin out points and just run a strip of LEDs around the whole thing set on what color you want so when you plug it in it lights up and you got like a really cool color because it is clear and putting red LEDs would just make this really nice and I think that that's something we're going to do eventually and I will come back and show that later but <coughs> So, peak mod this uh, quick link for the, for the joystick. Sorry, uh, LEDs replacement braided USB cable because that's all the jazz. You could put a new PCB in here. I'm not going to bother. This is for my nephew. He he's primarily PC and Xbox. I have all the converters, so if he wants to play on something different, he can use one of my converters. I'm not going to change this when the new Xbox Series X comes out, I'll, like, if a converter comes out for 360 mode or Xbox One, I'll buy it and he'll be able to just keep going forward. This is a one and done stick for him, pretty much. Like, he won't ever need another one, and that's good. Um, are there any other mods you would want to do? I mean, you could turn it a hitbox, like I said. You could replace this, by the way. 
The pinouts are perfectly for Samwall, so you can replace this super easy. And it's deep enough that if you wanted to put like some Korean leather, uh, lever, levers in here, you could. Like, you got that space. It's nice. But, yeah, other than that, it's just a good stick, you know. The Xbox One mode has problems. I give it about a solid 7 out of functionality, you know. But 360 mode, just freaking great. Like, I, I've been playing on this a lot in 360 mode. It's just, it works good, you know. So, I like this enough that I'm definitely buying the PS4 version that's clear blue, and I'm going to mod the everlasting Jesus out of it. Just, ah! Oh. But, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please post them down below. Comment, like, subscribe, and, uh, you know, have a great day. Thanks.